I'm Jason Breach from the Exminster Skill Centre. We've done a number of videos on our trade range of lathes. So this is a new lathe aimed at the craft market, so it's our craft range. Let's look at some of the details of this to give you an idea. First of all, it has 510mm between centres, 355mm diameter for your bar work, two more taper, 33 by 3.5mm spindle. It's all cast iron construction, so pretty heavy, even though it's a bench top lathe means it weighs in at 57 kilos. So it's quite compact, but pretty stable for the size. So what we want to do is show you some of the features of this new lathe. So the headstock of the lathe, the work costs, we have a 33 by 3.5 spindle, two more taper, cast iron construction. We have a flat door on here, which opens up. This conceals the pulleys and underneath. So we have a three stage pulley setup with a V-belt setting. 24 index holes around the edge with a spindle lock on the back here. So we can lock the spindle, each of those positions, and lock it. So the speed on the lathes that we actually have, 250 to 720, 600 to 1700, and 1200 to 3500. The slower speed will give you more torque for your bow whip. The faster speed, smaller items, pens, lace bobbins. To change the belt setting, so we change the speed, we've got the top door open for the pulleys. We can lift this cover door off. Nice and gently clear the screw hole. There. We've got access into here. We also have the lever and the lock screw on the side here. So we can lift the lever up. Nice and robust lever, heavy gauge steel, rubber grommet on the end. We can put your hands inside, we can get to the belt. I'm working on the top belt fitting. I can move it over, hand down inside, take the belt, move it over to the middle, undo the lock lever, push it back down our door back on, close the top one. That's how simple that is to change the belt. On the back here we have an index knob, so we can lock that in, that'll lock the spindle. If we pull it back out, twist it round, the spindle clears nicely. So we can open the cover door. We've got the spindle lock, which we can turn round and drop it into place. On the back of the spindle, basically, it locks into the holes as numbered. We also have the chrome hand wheel, so we have a hollow centre so we can pass work through or the knockout bar. So the motor is underslung, so it makes it more compact out the way. Got room in here to clean stuff out, but it makes it more compact is the major thing. This is a 750 watt brushless DC motor. Electric variable speed, it's very smooth, very quiet to operate. So I'll give you an idea of that. We'll put the logo on, we've got our dial, we can move things up and down. Come down the speed range, drop it down, and we'll show you the control box. Okay, so very easy to operate. For the bed, it's cast iron, all right? It has a ground surface finish, which is then brush finish, so it's smoother than just leaving the ground. So with the ground finish, things will drag a bit. We undo the banjo, we can move it along, things will slide nice and equally. So nice even thickness, no sharp corners. So everything's been done to try and make this easier to use. So again, the banjo is cast iron. Cam lock lever, so you push down, locks it in place nicely. Easy to move along, one-handed. We have toy rest that goes in, 25.4 mil stem. Metal handles on here. We have a 200 mil toy rest. So we can lock that off, move things about. Nice and easy to operate. Tail stuck, again, cast iron. Everything will slide along. Cam lock handles on these again, so we can lock it off. Makes it nice and sturdy, push it down, right fix. Again, one handed to operate, easy to work. We have winder handle then, chromed, and on, goes up through to the barrel. We have a lock straw on the side here, we can see. Again, metal handles, we can wind this in. This has 70 mils worth of travel, so quite ample there for most of us. Nice and easy to work with. The control box is mounted underneath the lathe bed, right hand side, so most of us are naturally right handed, so we can actually get to all of this to operate it. By having it in underneath the lathe makes it more compact. So we have a forward and reverse switch, a green, a red, on, off. We have a dial, we can change our speed. We also then have a digital readout to tell us how fast we're going. So we play with the dial. It'll move the speed. Put it back down. We can stop it wherever we need to. 
Okay, so with this as an overall load, as we've already said, 57 kilos. So it actually has two carry handles, one either end. This is a two-man lift. It's quite difficult to pick it up by yourself. You're stretching a bit too much. So the handles will help. Okay, so we have those. Underneath, we have your rubber feet. So these are down on the bench. They stop the vibration, help damp it down, stop it walking across the bench. Overall measurements, to give you an idea, it is 1040 long, 370 deep front to back. The overall height is 480. The centre height to the bench is 405 millimetres. Basic accessories that come with the lathe. We have a knockout bar, so we can use with the tailstock, so that's hollow, or the headstock. We have drive centre, one inch four prong drive. These are Axminster made centres. A revolving tailstock centre. A four inch face plate. An Allen key and a spanner to fit the spindle. So those are standard accessories. The only optional accessory for this at the moment is the stand. Now having played with this, it's a great little lathe, okay? This is going to appeal to some of you who might want a new little bench lathe. Never done wood turning, this would be a great start lathe. Some of you might want a second lathe, it would be really good for that. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be a really popular lathe. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. Enjoy the turning.